Northern Colorado is now home to a monument, paying tribute to an important part of Colorado history. It honors the Latino workers who helped shape our state's agricultural industry. Their backbreaking work is often overlooked. As we continue elevating Latino voices, Marissa Armas shows us how they are being remembered. This is a picture of me, my mother, and my dad. Carmel Chuck Solano's childhood was everything but ordinary. When I started, we got paid $11 for every acre of beets that you send. Using his hands and a short hoe, Chuck, along with his family, worked the fields in northern Colorado, picking sugar beets in the mid-1900s. I hated it, even at the age of seven when I first started. I thought, this isn't any fun, you know, I'd rather be a, on a school playground instead of out here hacking away. But for Hispanic families at the time, there weren't many options. Field work was the mainstay of the community, and by the late 1920s, the sugar beet industry was the largest employer of Hispanics in Colorado. We had sugar factories in, in Eaton, in Greeley, in Johnstown, in Fort Collins, in Loveland. There's so many newcomers that come in that don't know the history. Making sure that history is known by future generations prompted uh, Mujeres de Colores founder in, Betty Aragon Mitotes to spearhead a project to honor the generations of Hispanic beet workers. We wanted to make sure that we cement our place in history. And after raising over $300,000, in 2021, the Hand That Feeds sculpture was erected at Sugar Beet Park in North Fort Collins. With this monument, we're able to show the importance of preserving our history. This is about the contributions of the Hispanic and Mexican beat workers, but yet never got the recognition that they deserved. A monument to honor workers like Chuck, a place that people can go to remember those beat workers who are part of the fabric of Colorado. And I think it's important that the younger generation, they need to know what we went through. And Mujeres de Colores is having a one-year celebration of the monument on October 16th from 12 to 4 at Sugar Beet Park. So, Jim Karen, some pretty interesting history mm -hmm. here. And something else that's cool is Chuck actually wrote his own book about his experience as a farm worker. So, if anyone would like to check that out, you can visit our website. I bet it's great. Yes. Thank you so much, Marissa.